Um, let's actually put this thing on the TV for these guys. So let's actually check it out. Like it sounds great, but let's, let's, let's make sure it's user friendly and whatnot. So, uh, I'm going to log in. I got the login right here. I have not done any of these searches yet. So let's do Cleveland, right? Since I'm familiar yeah. with Cleveland. And if your data is bunk, uh, I'll call you out on it right now. out live on so. the show. So I can, I can make sure that you're giving us good stuff. So like, yeah. I got the so, country up. What can I do? What do I do? I want to give me, so, like, let's say I want to build a, a sweet list or something for Cleveland. Let, let's do it. So right now, when you first log in, we're going to um, take you to the search page. The assumption is you're building a list or searching an address. So in this sense, at the very top of this page, you'll see our search bar. Yeah. Go ahead and type in the city Cleveland or the county that Cleveland is in. All right. So we're going to do my favorite neighborhood. Y'all that watch the show all the time. You guys know I love the old Brooklyn neighborhood. So that's Cleveland, Ohio. And the zip code's 44109. So should I type in Cleveland 44109? Just punch in the zip. What do you want me to do? Just punch in the zip code. And then when you punch in the zip code, you should see a drop down right below up here. Click on oh. that little recommendation. All right, cool. 44109, Ohio. Cool. All right. So Boom. I got 130 MLS deals and that's the direct MLS data. All right. Now there's 116 pre foreclosures. So that, so the folks, so, you, know, you get the, the MLS real time MLS feeds from me for Cleveland only, right? Cleveland only guys. So I can't help you with data outside of Cleveland market, but for my Cleveland people, the data that I give you is the 130. But in addition to that, these 116 foreclosures, pre foreclosures, this is non MLS stuff. Yes. Yes. Okay. Walk me through exactly what a pre foreclosure is. So a pre-foreclosure is someone who's potentially defaulted on their note, right? This could be uh, they defaulted on a mortgage note. Uh, it could also be maybe a lien was placed on a property, like a property tax lien that they didn't pay. And inevitably that lien wasn't uh, caused the, the foreclosure of the property. But a pre-foreclosure is the, uh, the window of uh, the process of foreclosure. Foreclosure is when a bank takes full possession of it. And that's what you would see at the top where it says bank owned. So that box or the properties that the lenders have taken a pre foreclosure is that six month, sometimes two month time frame uh, between ownership and you're about to lose your home to the lender. Uh, so this is one of the most sought off categories out there. Uh, typically, depending on the state, it's either judicial or non judicial. So when a person's in a pre foreclosure, it will go either straight to the county as a notice of default, and then the county will put an auction date on it. And that's what we call a notice of trustee sale. If it's a judicial state, then what happens is it goes into the courthouse. It becomes a notice of less pendants. The court decides whether they proceed with the foreclosure, then the court puts an auction date on that. So that pre-foreclosure box, depending on the state, will show you notice of defaults, notices of less pendants, and notices of trustee sales as well. As you mentioned, these are all off-market MLS data right here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.